we're in New York, Fashion Week, public school backstage, and we're basically taking the hair and doing a hairstyle, we kind of call it the inside out. We went through and we did a little bit of cornrow back here. See this side right here? So it's a low pony. Now we're going to pick this up and look for that little cornrow. I'm gonna grab that ponytail and attach it to the cornrow. And that's really the finished look. It's just a little bit rough and up and looks like it's tucked into a collar, but it's not. So the look for public school, they were really inspired by the movie The Warriors from the late 70s. That's so them, it's so New York. And really these girls look like street kids, but really tough and almost like true gangsters. The eye is really just about that deconstructed, imperfect, worn in, black eye. So we did a mix of like gray topes and then lined the eye with a bit of gray gel eyeliner, a black eyeliner, and a black lipstick. Kind of blended that all around the eye and then mixed that in with clear baby lips. And you'll see there's a lot of movement around the eyes, so it looks just really worn in and weathered, almost like they've been through a battle. They bring a really great crowd of people together here on a Sunday morning when it's zero degrees in Manhattan. I'm super excited. It's really nice to already sit here and like feel the energy and the music. I'm like, oh, this is really cool. It's so cold outside, so it's kind of nice to be inside and you know be exposed to some interesting art. And when you walk through all the wallpaper and seeing this little number in the middle, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, I think it's cool that they're doing it in a gallery space. Hauser and Worth is amazing, um, and it's a little unique and, and new. And this piece in the middle is so beautiful. I'm excited to see how the fashion ties into it. I'm always looking forward to see what the guys are up to. I actually met them early in their career and then got to know them very well when they were part of the CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund, which they summarily won um, because of their great talent. And we love having them at Neiman Marcus, both in our women's department and in the men's department. I think they bring a real, you know, kind of gritty New York vibe to the fashion world. And it's refined, but there's a real kind of cool kid quality to it. And I, I love that's what the guys do. been on a roll for how many years now? I think, you know, women's is newer for them, so it's it's interesting to see what they do each season and how they evolve that sort of streetwear look that they're known for on the men's side and add femininity to it. What I like about public school is their whole tie with a little bit of masculine, the street style, but you know a lot of their materials are really luxury materials from Japan and Italy. So I think they really do a nice mix of just the high and kind of more street. And you just feel good in it. It's just comfortable and easy and it's always got a little something. It's a little street, but it's still really high-end and cool, and it mixes well with other things. And while there's a lot of kind of boyish stuff, it also is really good on a woman's body as well. I thought it was great. Urban decay, survival is chic in an art gallery where we have two dead horses just off the runway. These were people just trying to survive in a rough environment.
I think they're getting better and better, these guys. You think about them as they began, a little bit like a lot of American designers, as people working in a commercial environment. Now I think with their rapid success, they've become a bit more artistic, so the thing, you know, looks a lot better. Oh, I loved it. I think they do such a good job with shapes and silhouettes and the geometry of all of their work is always very interesting and also it's very moody and kind of lends itself to the brand being kind of masculine in a lot of ways, which is different from my personal style, but I really like it. You know, the styling is very much what's happening on the streets of the city, not only New York, but in a very international way. So. It's not just creating clothes for a runway, but it's creating clothes that actually walk off the runway and go from the catwalk to the sidewalk, and I think that's the really cool thing about it. Streetwear is a sort of where fashion is right now, and you know they've got a really cool, cool crowd around them. They have a lock on that.